Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and some of you guys asked me um, about my hardware setup with the new distressors and what's going on with the hardware. So while I'm printing this mix that I just finished, which is about 200 fucking tracks, I am uh, going to show you. Actually, let me turn the light on. So you can see better because yeah there's um there's some changes going on hardware wise as you can see this old bay here i'm still deciding what to do um i need a main eq which i still don't know which one is gonna be and um, i'm waiting to fill these two slots here and some other things. I sold some pieces that I wasn't using. I got the new distressors and I'm waiting for some other stuff and I still have to decide uh, some other piece of gear which I will need. But anyway, let me, let me show you for this mix, for this album actually, which is Colored's Void album the band is called colors void what i'm doing um let's start with the well let's start with the two bus two bus it's my usual two bus the same it has been for the past year i think and the past 10 albums something like that the two bus is the neve 542s into the dion compressor and you can see i'm driving the neves right about where they start to clip the the first yellow uh sorry orange lead and uh, i'm using the red transformers and from there we go into the dione which is doing something like a couple of db of gain reduction with the thd in mid position attack is 30 milliseconds if you can see it and one release full ratio pretty standard dion sounds amazing um then we have well the drummer 1973 multiband compressor for this song is not used but i keep it as a i don't know whatever it comes um some problem tracks sometimes he ends up on the vocal bus but uh, in this song, I'm not using it. So, but, but yeah, for the album, I, I used it in half of the song for various things. Distressors. So we have the first one, you can see is smashing things and is smashing a mono drum bus with kick, snare, and I believe toms. You can see the settings. I have distortion three going on, all lights up nuke setting and this is parallel so i'm blending a mono kick drum and snare and maybe toms into these the into the drum bus sorry the second distressor you can see is the vocal lead vocal mono lead vocal distortion 2 6 ratio that's pretty common setting for me with the side chain enhanced in the mid position the vocal is doing about i don't know 6 to 8 db of gain reduction the third distressor um it's a parallel vocal yeah and as you can see the difference is in nuke position link so when you set the distressor on link position and you uh, and you don't have a, a linked pair the, the distressor basically double up on the distortion because it sees half of the signal. Let's start to play again so you can see the gain reduction happening. And this is uh, the, the third distressor is a parallel uh, lead vocal, which is blended in. So the, the second distressor is the lead mono in insert and the third is parallel. You can probably see the settings I don't know. but uh yeah the fourth distressor is bass is an insert 
and um, I changed the settings for this song, I think, or maybe the, the, the one before. But I usually keep that on opto mode with the attack all the way uh, fast and well, sorry, uh, slow and the release all the way fast, I think, something like that. And uh, but this for this song, uh, I changed it ratio is four. The link is on for the same reason because I have the parallel vocal because you know I want more distortion for the bass. This is an insert and the distortion is a two. That's like I said, it, it, everything stays the same for me for bass with the distressor. It just changes the the mode pretty much. I usually keep it at opto instead of you know ratio four to one as is now. Then we have the drummer 1978. This is the drum bus in insert. You can see it's not doing much. It's doing one dB of gain reduction on the snare and Tom's hits and sometimes kick. Well, anyway, the tall peaks. But um, yeah, the saturation is the important part. You can see it is about 10 o'clock and the side chain is engaged. So to make the compressor respond to whatever I want, you can see settings, four ratio, what is that? Uh, 20 attack and very fast release. None of the options are on. And again, this is a pretty common setting for me for drum. And the 1978 is always on my drum in insert. And mix knob is, you can see about 10 o'clock. So we have 70, 30 compressed, uncompressed. And I say this is in insert, the drummer 1978, because the API is instead in parallel on the drum bus. So I have basically two parallel uh, for the drum. I have kick and snare and Tom's mono on the distressor, all lights up. And then I have the API on the whole drum, but on the stereo drum bus as parallel. And you can see the settings. It's, it's doing some gain reduction, but not that much. I'm not squashing it. It's doing about couple of dB of gain reduction but I use this for the color uh, of the API on drums and yeah you can see hard med and old mode for the tone settings tack is at what is that 10 ratio 3 very fast release and the link is at 50% Usually, that's that's common for me for parallel drum, but um, I might, you know, smash it a little bit more. Not for this album, I I didn't need that. So just for more than, you know, smashing it, the API in parallel is for color and a little bit of thickness. And um, then what we have? Oh, we have the RNLA, the guitars in parallel are going here in this case but um I keep this one as a subgroup mix parallel whatever whatever I want to send to it in this case you know all the guitars go there but usually you know a lot of stuff go there except for drum and vocals just because I have their own parallel channels for for those two elements I'm using the uh, lexicon for some reverb on the snare, not on all songs. But uh, yeah, everything is going through the SSL. 48 channels down there. And the pedals. I use pretty much all of these on this album. On bass. Uh, different songs, different distortion. Always in parallel for bass with my radial. XTCSA, but uh, yeah, for these albums, this is pretty much it. Sometimes when I run the bass through pedals, I use my drummer deesser to control the the clankiness of you know the the distorted bass coming back in 
sometimes before the paddles sometimes after through the patch bay but um yeah that's pretty much it again i am uh, i am deciding what other piece of gear i will get and i will need i have a couple of ideas i'm not I'm not gonna say anything oh right um we have the expressor i didn't mention the the whole vocal bus which the vocals are mono and we have you know the insert the stressor and the parallel for vocals but they end up in a stereo bus output all my vocals i always have the expressor on my vocal bus yeah the light makes it worse sorry guys it, it's completely improvised i didn't plan this video but the expressor does a couple of db three top of gain reduction on vocals on the tallest peak with the uh ratio is at 1.5 slowish attack with the release pretty fast and i have the warm mode engaged and that's that's really that's really nice sounding on vocals for me um the expressor 500 series it's always on my at the end of my vocal chain you know before before going out it, it just helps controlling you know the the tallest peak the the highest peak on the vocals and it's pretty transparent yes in its action so you don't you don't feel you don't you don't hear the compression going on even though because it's not that much but um yeah overall it's its action is pretty transparent but the warm um function really thickens up the vocals i i love it for that with the insert distressor and the expressor i play with the distortion settings here and the warm function on the expressor because you know sometimes in this case the the stressor in insert on the lead vocals is a distortion too and the warm button is engaged because the singer here has a little bit of thin vocal when he goes high so this really helps but sometimes you know depending on the setting of the distressor or the expressor you change the distortion or you engage the warm button or not anyway this is pretty much it for this album colors void i think i'll i'll put a snip of one of the mixes the album is almost done just so you can hear you know something something current that i'm mixing because everything comes out after like six months that i that i mix so yeah but anyway this is it for this video guys it was completely not planned and um yeah i hope you enjoyed it and for those who asked this is my setup at this time and thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already see you next time but you're never gonna get what you really wanna find and you're never gonna be the one in your dreams you are but you're never gonna get what you really wanna find and you're never gonna be the one in your dreams you are